God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created him. The book of Genesis says. However, St. Paul says, I do not understand my own behavior. I do not act as I mean to, but I do the things that I hate. So, it is not myself acting, but the sin that dwells in me. Lent is a journey of our returning to God. Pope Francis says, it is a journey that involves our whole life, our entire being. Lent is not just about the little sacrifices we make, but about discerning where our hearts are directed. Is my heart directed towards God or towards myself? By listening daily to His words, may God's love and guidance be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, this is what I command my people. Listen to my voice. Then I will be your God and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts and turned their backs, not their faces to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly all my servants, the prophets. Yet they have not obeyed me nor paid me. They have stiffened their necks and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call them, they will not answer you. Say to them, This is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord, its God, or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. Your word itself is banished from their speech. Responsorial Psalm If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into His presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to Him. If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For He is our God, and we are the people He shepherds, the flock He guides. If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. O oh, that today you would hear His voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me th they tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was driving out demon that was mute, and when the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke. The, the mute man spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom is divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom 
do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. Let us pray. We implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly towards the worldly celebration of the Paschal Mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.